sugar plum. <laughs> man, I know we laughing a little bit about it, but man, honestly, this is a real sad story to me. This whole Nipsey Hustle situation and all the information that's coming out now, or all the information that's been out here, just how it looks on the surface. All the things that was going on before Nip passed, all the things he was going through, all the extorting, all the bully me to be your friend type stuff going on. I don't really know what to say, man. It's starting to, I had to put the locs on for it. I know, I know. Typically, if I got on glasses, they Cartier, you understand? But on the dead homies, I had to do the motherfucking locs because this California stuff is out of hand, man. It's out of hand. I don't really know what to say. I'm not gangbang culture per se. But it's starting to seem like a group of haters. Just a group of haters. Like together we a group of haters. And we against that group of haters. But within this group of haters. We hate each other. We'll kill each other. We'll knock each other. And we're going to style on them haters over there. It makes absolutely no sense. It's like it's no win. So even if you in a gang and you come up on your own by your own merits, if you don't share with the people that wasn't doing shit while you was working, then what, they get to kill you? They get to extort you? They get to rob your friends when you bring them around? What kind of stuff is this? If I'm from the hood and I put it down in the hood and then I do something else still living in the hood, but it starts to go good, what, at what part of that do I owe you something? At what part of that are you supposed to get a piece of what I built for myself? Because when robbing was going good for you, did you give me a piece? No. When selling drugs was going good for you, did you give me a piece? No. When you was pimping on the white bitch, did you give me a piece? No. And I didn't expect one. The idea that it's responsible, the idea that it's one man's responsibility to make sure another has, has shelter and food is ridiculous. I mean, if I eat, we eat, but when I eat don't mean I'm supposed to feed you either. But we'll get back to that later. Check out my man. So, I know you were dumb, but not just this dumb. <laughs> Big you. Okay, let's play true or false. Oh, man. Let's just do that, right? Is it true that I ran up on Khaled <laughs> and you got his number that day? Then, after the nip passed, you start hanging out with him. Facts. Right? So you bully DJ Khaled. <laughs> true or false? Did you actually get in several altercations with Nipsey? I know. Remember about the studio equipment? Remember about the diss song? Remember when you threw your water bottle at him because you asked him about that diss song in the studio and he told you it was about you? <laughs> and then y'all went down the stairs Y'all was in the middle of the street trying to squabble up. You don't remember that? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta shout that out about Nip. In all of these stories that people tell him, it's pretty clear he was always willing to squabble. Gotta give a man his respect on that. This is sad to see a man who was standing up for itself and what he believed in be taken down like that by a bunch of haters but whatever or to have that atmosphere created for something like that to happen by a bunch of haters oh yeah i got my easy ease on tonight don't worry about it oh okay let's play this once again that was your Little brother, he was like a son to you, right, sweetie? A son to you, right? What if I told you investing wasn't just for the suits and ties? It 
zones. Then you try to line him up several times. If that was a son to you and you were just trying to help him, why would you sign a 10-year contract? Oh, okay. That's a good question. That's a fair, that's a fair question. Let me know if this is true or false. After the DJ Kelly story broke, right? Once again. Okay. Why would you go to Miami? The approval point so bad. To go hang out with DJ Khaled in there for one night. What's the point of that? Yeah, that did look kind of bad. I guess you couldn't call him? Bet you he ain't going to come out and say it's not true? Bet you ain't going to do that? Okay. Good point. I know. I know, I know, I know. What you right? know, bro? Oh, by the Tell way, me that. This Stevie J little brother and shit. <laughs> Sweetheart, who said you was in town? Why do you need an alibi? Why do you need an alibi for the day that Nipsey died? And a phone call, right? Why would you need that? I was out of town anyway. Dude, who said you was in town or out of town? Why would you bring that up? Do that make sense? I'm really talking to you, sweetheart. Do that make sense, sweetie pie? No, it don't. So no you sense. telling me this. You get on here, just dummy. You do not game bang on no social media platforms. All right, man. We're going to cut it right there. He gonna use a bunch of Big U's own statements and videos to prove Big U wrong with his own statements and videos. Dog, the fact that he keep calling this man Sweetie Pie is fucking hilarious. It's also disrespectful. Them is like what you back in the day that you say them fighting words. These are fighting words. You keep calling this man Cupcake Sweetie Pie. He clearly want to fight. That's just my estimation. And y'all in the same city, and this man keep calling you Sweetie Pie. You can't have that, man. Who gonna check in with you, and you got somebody calling you Sweetie Pie? And then this whole checking in thing, man, I never want to disrespect other black men or other black people if their mentality is a little bit different than mine. But let's be clear. This is the bottom of the barrel activity. In California, Hollywood, for example, I live right down the street from Gross Point Farms. That's one of the richest cities in America. Me just knowing people that live there creates commerce for me. Me living by there in proximity and making community with those people creates business opportunities for me. Go figure. You motherfuckers is in California. There is absolutely nothing but money out there. Ain't shit else worth it but the weather. Ain't nothing but money out there. And you telling me y'all walk right past the billionaire white dude, the hundred millionaire white dude, the nine hundred millionaire Italian dude. You walk past all these rich people to extort rappers who barely got a million dollars for jewelry that ain't paid for. I know things are a little bit different in Detroit, but there's no black man here willing to do some shit to a nigga that they not willing to do to somebody that don't look like a nigga first. Especially if there's more money involved. So to a Detroiter, some of this shit look real weird. You know, because I done shot at niggas and white people. And I shot at more white people than I shot at niggas. And it's not like that outside of Detroit. Y'all only fuck with niggas. You can't get no money only fucking with niggas. I 
don't get that. But I digress. I fucks with Luz. He's obvious, and I and I know a bunch of little homies like him that you want to come up, you doing your thing, your gangster is proper, and somebody's trying to snatch you under the wing to do their dirty work, and you just think you being true to the game. And then you wake up and realize, like, hold on. This motherfucker supposed to be servicing me. Taking me through the game a little faster, a little easier. This motherfucker got me out here doing grunt work and I got more money than him. What the fuck is going on? And then people dying for no reason? For you to be friends with motherfuckers? Are you fucking serious? This ridiculous. I'm about to make a whole nother video without my dog loose here. This my new homeboy. I'm about to reach out to this nigga. You know, we go, we go so far the long way down some of these roads. And when we figure out we did that, turning around, going back the other way, it's on us and it's important and it's something we got to do. And it might be hard. Be man enough to take that shit on the same way you was man enough to go the wrong way down that road. We out.